Okay, so I'm getting a lot of requests um, for reminders of how to send files or links to the desktops, to the computers in the, uh, in the Mac lab. And so I'm just going to make this quick tutorial uh, that, that will hopefully help. So let's say I wanted to send um, this link to all the desktops um, in the Mac lab. So all the students had to do go, would have to do is go find the link that's on the desktop and it's probably going to be labeled Reader's Theater Editions and they would double click that it'll automatically open a browser and then it will automatically then uh, go to that web page so here's how you do that so I've got my browser open um, you may not have um, all these windows open so let me just close these um, so you you might have the, just this one open okay so what I need to do is I need to first create a file um, on my desktop that I can send to my students so I'm gonna drag this down um, move this okay so I need to be able to go from here and I need to create a file onto my desktop if you'll notice right here this it looks like a piece of paper that is what I click and drag. See the plus sign turned into that? So I'm going to drag it to my desktop, and you can put it anywhere. So I set it there, and now it's created a file. Okay, so now I go to Remote Desktop. Okay, so I go to Remote Desktop, and I've given myself access to one computer just for demonstration purposes. But you, if you want to send it to everybody, you would click the top. Um, computer, go to the bottom, hold the shift key, click, and it'll select them all. It will select them all. And you hit copy. Okay, so I hit copy, and this dialog box shows up. And then right here is the plus sign. So that's how you're going to go um, grab a file, that grab that file that you created. So I put it on my desktop. Okay, Reader's Theater Edition. So there it is right there, and that's going to be the name of, of the file. I click Open. Okay, so now it's sitting in there, and I hit Copy. It may say you're denied access or to some of the computers, so it's not 100%. It should be, and we need to make sure that it, it can be in the future. You're going to see a lot denied on mine because I've only given my, myself access to, to uh, one. So it'll say, see, it's not going to work, which is fine. You may find something like this. It may be one, it may be two, but that's okay. So I click continue. And now it has, if you'll notice there, which is the only one I gave myself access to, it says succeeded. All right. So now let's see what it looks like on the student computer. So if I go to that computer, I'm going to click control just to show you what it looks like. So now that's the student's computer. Okay, so that's the, the computer that's in the lab. And you'll notice right here it's got the big at sign. So that right there is the link that the students are going to use. So now I'm on the student computer. So imagine I'm not on my computer any, anymore. I'm sitting in front of theirs. So let me widen this, hopefully. Oh, well, that's okay. So now I double click that. The student would double click that. You would tell your student to double click that. You double click, it automatically opens a browser. It automatically goes to that web page. Okay, so you've created a file, you've put it on your desktop, you've copied it to the student desktop, and now they can quickly double click on that and open it. I hope that helps and uh